Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. It looks like a lot. It is a few ingredients. We're getting ready to make Instapot Moroccan Chicken. Yes, we are. We're going to use vegetable oil. Normally, I use my extra virgin olive oil, but we don't want this to burn, so we're going to have to use vegetable oil this time. We're going to use some apple cider vinegar, but you can use regular vinegar. That'll work just fine. Garlic, smoked paprika, regular paprika will work just fine. Some crushed red pepper. That is about two-ish cups of carrots. Those are the baby carrots. I just simply cut them in half. We've got a cup of red onions. We've got some ginger paste here. Garlic salt, some lemon. We're going to need a cinnamon stick. You want to use these stuffed pimentos. We're going to use some coriander, turmeric, ginger, some tomato paste. This is about eight chicken thighs here. I got to clean them up. We've got about a cup of cilantro, about a cup of parsley, black pepper. We have dried prunes here, as well as some apricots. And here is your shot of everything we're going to use. Now let's get cooking. All right, the first thing we're going to do is set this to saute mode. doesn't matter about the minutes. And we're just going to go ahead and get this warmed up. Once it says that it's ready, then we're going to add some oil, okay? So it's just going to take about a minute, and I'll be right back. Okay, it's ready. It says it's hot. So we're going to go in with that vegetable oil, a couple of tablespoons, enough to coat the bottom, okay? And then we're going to go in with that chicken. Okay, I'm going to have to stop right here and put it in because I only have one. <laughs> I need both hands. I'll be right back. All right, I was able to get five pieces in here. And when making this recipe, you definitely want to have at least eight pieces. And I'm just going to go ahead and season. You can season it before you put it in. But why waste another dish, I say. So you can definitely season it. And just salt and pepper is all you really need. And then we're just going to let this cook for about five minutes on each side. So when it's time to flip, I'll come back. All right. As you can see, how delicious do they look? Lost a little skin in the war there, but that's all right. And um, it was only three minutes. So I'm going to give it another three minutes. And then I have to cook the other batch, okay? So you want at least eight of these, okay? All right. And I'll be back once I finish browning the other batch. Okay, this is what we're looking like. And now we're getting ready to go in with everything pretty much. We're going in with the carrots, the onion, and then go ahead and go in with that garlic. And I'm going to put in, this is one of those times when you want to put in what you feel comfortable with. And I'm going to go in with about four tablespoons of garlic, because like I tell you all the time, I am a fan. Then at this point, I'm going to start putting in the seasoning. I'm going to go in with about a tablespoon of the turmeric. I'm going to put in a tablespoon of the ground ginger. I'm just going to put in about a tablespoon. The heat is up to you. This is the uh, red pepper flakes, or you can also use cayenne pepper. Use whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm going to put in a tablespoon of that smoked paprika, and again, like I told you, regular paprika work just fine. And then I'm also going to put in some of that ginger paste. I'm going to put in a couple of tablespoons of that. And then we're just going to saute all of this together for a few minutes. We're going to go about five minutes, okay? I'm going to let this go and cook while scraping up some of that goodness at the bottom for five minutes, okay? And I'll be back. All right, this is what we're looking like, and we're going to go in with a tablespoon of tomato paste. I'm going to go ahead and mix that on in, get that incorporated. Let it get the coating and going on, but you can't see that good. Because it's so smoky. But I'm also going to add in that lemon. And I'm going to show you what I've done with that lemon. I've cut it into pieces. 
make sure there were no seeds. And we're going to stick the whole lemon in there. Yes, we are. All the pieces. And then also one cinnamon stick. And give it a good jush. And we're going to let these flavors get to know one another just for a couple of minutes. And then we're going to go from there. So in two minutes, I'll be back. Isn't she looking yummy already? I'll be back. Okay, now we've got that going. Let me show you what I've got here. That's how much of the apricots and the prunes that I'm using. And I'm just going to put those on in there. Okay? And I'm going to give those a couple of minutes as well. In there and all that yummy. Just a couple of minutes. I'll be back. Alright, at this point, we're going to go ahead and go in with some water. I'm going to put in a whole bottle of water in there. Oh yeah. And then I'm also going to put in some of the juice, about a good tablespoon of that juice from those olives. We want nothing but flavors going on in here. Okay? And so I'm going to let this go for two minutes. Just two minutes, that's all it needs. Look at all that yummy going on in there. Give her two minutes, and then we're going to go to the next step. All right, and you can absolutely add more water to this to give you more juices because I like extra juice in mine, which is why I used a full cup. So we're going to put this back in here, skin side up, get them all in there. I made a total of seven pieces. I was going to make eight, but then I decided to bake a few in the oven for another dish. So there's that. And so we're going to go ahead and put all of those in there. Doesn't matter if they're stuffed down in the juices. It's not a necessity. And I'm going to take those juices from that plate and pour those on in there. We don't like to waste any good flavor. And then I'm going to put the lid on. Give me one second. All right, we've got this lid on. Uh-oh, I need to cancel that first. We got the lid on. We're going to pressure cook. And we're going to pressure cook for 10 minutes. And dinner will be done pretty much. I'll be back after the 10 minutes. All right, I let it slow release for 15 minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the quickie. And let it finish releasing. All right, this is what she looks like. Does she not look amazing or what? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take that chicken out. And we're going to take out that lemon. And then we're going to search for that cinnamon stick. There she is. We're going to take all of that out. And I'll be right back. And there's our chicken. Doesn't she look amazing? And now we're going to put in the final ingredients. We're going to put in about a teaspoon of the vinegar. Just need a little dollop. We're going to put in about half this jar of those olives. And let's just put in the whole jar. Forget it. All right. Well, and we're going to put in the parsley. We're also going to put in the cilantro. Give it a little jush, and this is done. It is completely done. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Now I'm going to plate it up and let you see what it looks like. So there is our sauce, and then there is our chicken. Now let's see what she looks like together. And there she is, all plated up, all nice and delicious. Things made easy with Gigi. I just put it with some brown rice. Everybody be blessed and stay safe. You'll see Gigi on the next one. Yummo, I'm telling you, look at that. A complete meal.